Hey everyone, welcome to Edisac Gaming Time. Today we're going to be talking about E3 and the games that were were filled there. I'm going to talk about as much as possible, let you know as much as possible, but it's doubtly that I will forget things. But first, here's the intro. Let's talk about the big elephant in the room and the fact that no Batman or Superman game was announced. Well, actually, Rock City has a bit of a reason and they have a bit of a message um, basically saying that they were sorry that they, some of you were disappointed that they were not there at E3 this year, but they are working on stuff and they're hoping to reveal some stuff to us soon, which soon probably means another year of nothing basically because as one person says you can get all hype with these DC leaks but most of the time it doesn't come true in fact the only thing that I know of that was this DC that was there was Lego DC superheroes that's the only thing that I know of that was actually there okay now let's actually talk about the games in the start of this the most fantastic moment of E3 came with EA Play when they announced not just a Star Wars game but new content for Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the Clone Wars era. Um, still wondering if they're talking about the Attack of the Clones or the Clone Wars TV stuff but all of this was just fantastic and I did do a video on this right at the start of that so here's a clip from that. So, no skin, new skins, castle, and much more. And not just that, but they've revealed that Star Wars Battlefront 2 will have a new map called Genosius. I guess that tease wasn't a fake after all. Not just that, but for villains, General Grievous, Count Dooku, heroes, Anakin Skywalker, and Obi Wan Kenobi. So, I wonder if that actor who uh, voices Owen Kenobi. What a voice answers now. Is he voicing him? Because I couldn't imagine anyone else. Um, anything else that I need to really say? Um, no, but all I will say is that I am happy, I am excited that we're finally getting this for this summer. My prediction is that my prediction is the summer months is July, August and September. So the sooner the better, I will be very happy. And they said that they'll be going deeply into the Chrome Wars. But now, for, for Respawns and also Star Wars Battlefront 2, here are the full uh, press conference, assuming someone has uploaded them from EA Play. And also, a reminder, I, I've been told that E3 starts uh, next week from Monday. Okay, so now in, all, now in a random order, a new game called The Amazing Adventures of Captain Sparkle um, was announced at um, the Xbox E3 uh, press conference. Now this game comes from the Life of Strange universe from Dante and also Square Enix being one of the publishers. Now this is said to be a prequel to what Life of Strange 2 will be. I know, I know, in fact I rather that they didn't really release this at all and just give us something else instead of keep you know doing this every year. We don't mind to have no life is strange for one year. Right. <laughs> we cope with it at the start of all of this. Um, the game is set to be downloaded that you can download it for free. You can you can preload it now, you can and it's set to come on to the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One and also PC on June twenty sixth one day after the trip at my college <laughs> which is quite awesome. Some other games were um, announced at EA Play, one of the obvious ones being Anthem, FIFA 19 and also Battlefield 5 which still looks amazing. Yes, I will be pre-ordering that and playing it because it, to me it looks really good, it looks like it's got that Battlefront 2 vibe 
to it, which is what I like about it. Now there were other games that were announced, but I'm but I'm not interested in those. Well, Crash Bandicoot: The Insane Trilogy, a new level was um, teased and also had a trailer, and that's also going to be coming from the top of my memory, June 26, June 29th, for all platforms. So no, it won't be exclusive for one platform. Why did we ever think that in the first place? It doesn't make sense to do that anymore these days. So now I've got a PlayStation VR and hopefully you know that by now prior to VR, two VR videos out the going filming day, which is Thursday. Um, some new games got um, announced for PlayStation VR which is great, but I still would like something that has to do with Star Wars a bit more because it looks like Steam is doing better with the Star Wars franchise more than PlayStation VR. One day I might get HTC, but until then, here's that little highlights trailer of what games were announced. Now with Resident Evil, um, with their last other game coming out, um, which was actually last year, this year it was announced at E3 that they released a trailer for Resident Evil 2. We made it's we made in the um, news engine um, and it's also having some functions from um, Western Evil 7 but trying to keep with the old aspects of it. It's actually known it before, apparently some the older voice actors were set to return but there's nothing else I don't actually know about it. I don't know what type of consoles it will be releasing but I know it will be releasing in January of 2019 which is great news. Um, I can't wait to play it. Questions are... Now I have Halo 5 I do or Halo 5 Guardians and uh, it's weird depending how I feel. If I complete Halo 5, then I'll give myself a go in and pre-order the next Halo, which is Halo Infinite. Now, I haven't actually watched the teaser for this. In fact, I know absolutely nothing because I am not keen in the Halo franchise as you are. One thing I don't understand about Nintendo, I understand that they have great games, but every time I would play a Nintendo game, for instance, on my Nintendo Wii, I would always find it hard and I can't complete it. Most of the time I can't even complete kid games that are age free. But some new games and also new gameplay did got um, announced for this. For instance, a new Smash Bros game got fully revealed with basically saying every Smash game character will be in this game and also much much more including Fortnite is now available to download for free on Switch but will not have the campaign of Save the World. And now finally and let me know if I missed anything out, some new gameplay and a lot of new gameplay got <laughs> announced. Um, so um, some of the new gameplay is like for instance from Spyro, um, Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy for the other platforms. Um, Spider-Man, uh, Lego DC Super Villains, um, the one of the newest Tomb Raider games. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> um, some Nintendo stuff and much more. In fact, you know, here's as much as I can find of new gameplay that was shown at E3. Like I said, it's a lot and I am going to miss stuff out.
Pyro. If you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Spider-Man, I thought this was a chase! Gotta stop this guy. If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Can't stop it! But I'm flattered that you still try! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! Hi, my name is Daniel Chaibisson, Game Director at Eros Montreal. You have just seen the beginning of Shadow the Tomb Raider, which will deliver on Lara Croft's defining moment as she raced to stop a Maya apocalypse. Lara will have to confront a brutal jungle environment in order to survive. And even though that she's more confident and more capable, she will still be outgunned and outnumbered by Trinity. She will have to use everything she learned from the jungle and use it in order to survive. We call this becoming one with the jungle. Let's take a look what this means for gameplay. Any of you guys come through here? Tau team, Croft is on a venture towards your position. I say again, Croft is coming to you. Jesus Christ, shh. We'll get her, sir. Show me her corpse, and your entire team is next to you from Deacon training. Roll it out. That's terrible. I'll kill you all! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that back? 
our magical leap? Fat chance! Let them get their own crime spree, I say! There. thank you so much for watching this and um, yeah tell me what E3 game you're most excited for um, me um, I, of course I'm excited for anything Star Wars um, I am I'm okay with the Lego games I am but I'm not too sure what I am excited for I'm definitely excited for the Clone Wars PlayStation VR games uh, the new Tetris one for VR looks absolutely amazing and I wonder how that's going to feel when I've got that headset on. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and after June there will be a little bit of a video um, well, that's going to seem important to me that I need to let you guys know about. Thank you guys, peace.